Oh yeah, hooks, both ends here with Dolby Dog, as you can see. You can see right here. Right, we're inside again, as you can see. I do apologise about that, but at the end of the day, there's nothing I can do at the moment. Dolby Dog's not very well. So in the last video, I will explain that in an upcoming video, but not at the moment. Right, in this video, we're going to talk about this pouch. This pouch goes on Dolby Dog's rucksack. This is half first aid kit. I've decided I'm going to build half first aid kit. I did ask suggestions, what people say, and a lot of people, some people recommended it. So I do I want to say thank you for all those people who commented on that video. Thank you very much. I did appreciate every single comment you said. Right, let's begin. So as you can see, again, I know a lot of people are going to say to me it's black, it's not red, it doesn't stand out. But in the day, this is half first aid kit. This is what's in here, and I'll show you. Okay. You can see if I pull out the main, that's the main first aid stuff. So, yeah, I do have a first aid bag in here as well. It's in here. I do carry a foil blanket. I call them space blanket, but most people call them foil blankets nowadays. We do have in here my. Belief swab. I do apologise about the next one because I can't really say it. It is an antiseptic and anti. Can't say it. I'm just going to show you guys. Got pain relief one. Swabs. As well as. Uh, I know this is a perfume bottle. I highly recommend these guys because you can stick a lot of liquid stuff into it. That there is her sun cream. So, and that's for the, that would last a couple of days when we're out. Now, as you can see, that pouch is empty. I'm just going to pause you for the minute, and then we'll get into the big one. See, now she's looking out the window, so. I don't keep these inside the pouch because I think that's a stupid idea. So I keep mine on the outside. I have two pairs of gloves. I recommend that. I recommend that idea because my 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 argument is automatically if she gets injured, automatically I'm just going to put my hand straight onto her injury. Yeah, straight away. And that's even before I go to my first aid kit or her first aid kit. Yeah. And if I've got blood all over my hands, that means I can't go into my first aid kit. But and if I've got the gloves in there, that means I have to still go into the first aid kit, and the blood can still go all over the stuff. So that's the reason why I keep them. Um, Inside the pouch, they were they weren't in there. I've just oh, I just got them out. Right, this is the main first aid kit. As you can see, it's the old first aid pouch. How oh, I am thinking about getting another one of these because the first aid bag I've just done for myself. That one, as you can see, right over there. What I'm pointing at, out on there, it's a bit big, and I don't like it. I find it too big. I find it too big and too heavy. You see there's the looks up as well. All right, let's go into this one because I'm bothered. Right then. There's the first aid stuff. We'll start on this side. Here, as you can see, I keep quite a few low adhesive lessons. Quite a few of them because at the end they I find they come quite handy. As I said, this is for her, not for me. I keep non womb swabs. There's five in each packet, so there's ten there. They're quite good. They're handy, they're good. I'm hoping to look into getting some more of them. I keep some. Sorry, guys. Cotton buds, or you call them in America Q tips. I keep a French lens. Now we're going to go into this little pouch first because it's quicker and easier. I keep the trauma kit Sammy sent me in here. At the end of the day, it's small enough, light enough for her to carry. As well as I keep some three drops, three and tick drops. They're spare, she has them every month. 
they're the ones I keep spare. I do keep, as I said, I do have quite a few of them around. So I find they're best to have around at all times. Right, as well, we keep some microporous tape. Only a small one, as you can see, it's very small. We keep, I put, I've put in some sterilised solution. That can wash out our eyes and wash out some cuts if I need it to. So that's that one there. This one here, I don't know if I'm going to get quite some, so I'm just But I just believe dogs do get sunburn. Yeah, and these actually do do sunburn. I just believe. People don't realise that. These do sunburn. Yeah. So I've kept a couple of band sewers in there. They're fantastic for sunburn, especially for her, because she gets it right on her nose. So I keep it for her. As you can see, she's staring at me now because I've just looked at her. Right. I am missing one thing from here, and that's an extra bandage, but I just wanted to show you because I was happy what I've done today. You've all seen these before. I've actually transferred the tick tweezers into her first aid kit because the tick tweezers are better in her first aid kit than mine. So, tick tweezers. Two small bandages. One self adhesive bandage. That goes on top of that. Plain simple. Triangular bandage. I keep a triangular bandage in here. I don't like this one. I am hoping to get a more expensive triangular bandage someday. But I keep a triangular bandage in here because I can use I can turn that into a muzzle. Yeah. I will show you maybe in the next video if she lets me. How I put a muzzle on her. How I turn this into a muzzle to keep her mouth shut. So if I am sorting out a wound and it's really bad, she doesn't bite me. She's never bite me before. She's dislocated her kneecaps so many times, and I've put them in so many times where she's just turns around and licked me on the face. Yeah, she's had a massive cut on her foot. She licked me. She didn't bite me. She didn't do anything like that. She just licks me. So, but this is just in case. And the very last thing. I keep alcohol wipes. Right. So yeah, that's what I keep in Dopey Dog's first aid kit. I am thinking of adding some of this. That is the anti antibacterial powder. The stuff I keep in my first aid kit. I have got a big pot of it. It is for dogs. It is for cats. The ones in my bag in my first aid kit is for the dog. It is for dogs and cats. But I use it on myself if I need to. It's really good stuff. It's good stuff. I'm still trying to work out if I need this in her first aid kit. I am. I am. 110%. I'm putting this in. But I don't know if I want to put a full bottle in. Because this is not just going in. This is not just for this. This pouch. This is for the other pouches as well. I'm going to carry some extra sun cream. And some dry shampoo. Some medicated dry shampoo. Dopey Dog gets rashes quite a lot on her stomach and her chest. That's the reason why I have this. It's quite good stuff. And I really do like it. And I am thinking about adding some of this in my kit. I am adding some of this into her kit. But I'm not going to put it in this bottle because this bottle is flimsy. This bottle will just split. Especially the way she bounces around all the time. So. And I'm adding some more of these pop up towels. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. Some pop up towels. Right. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and please tell me what would you would do and add. Because at the end of the day, I'm new putting a first aid kit together for Dopey Dog. I normally just put it in my mind. I just use my stuff. But I've decided that Dopey Dog needs to start carrying her own weight and own stuff. Because at the end of the day, I can't count my everything because it's getting too much. So yeah, so please tell me what you think. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and I will leave a link in the description. I will leave a link at the end on the end screens with my giveaway, my 150 self giveaway video. If you want to enter, please do. It would be nice. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.